so it's time to tackle the wardrobe. This is actually after I spent about an hour on it already, but it is a disgrace. Should be ashamed of myself. Hopefully, by the end of the day, it will be pristine and I can give you a proper tour. Hopefully, Mama Zets are gonna help me get through. Wish me luck. So I really tried my best to uh, completely finish the wardrobe today so I could do the tour that I was talking about but I'm exhausted, it's really tiring actually doing like tidying work and chores and stuff um, so I'm back in bed obviously um, but I, I did make a bit of progress so what I'll do is a little teaser just show you some of the shelves, some of the little areas in the room and then soon I'll do a proper wardrobe tour, show you some of my favourite pieces, the different designers, the different brands, all that sort of stuff, any special objects I own. Um, I know this sort of thing is boring to some people but if you're nosy like me you kind of like to have a route around people's rooms and stuff so if you're one of those enjoy. So here's my growing collection of trilbies and things. These are generally top shop Primark and Misguided. One of the very few designer pieces I have is this Felder and Felder shift dress. Now you can't put it in the wash and unfortunately it's covered in some dodgy stains. Well, when I say dodgy I don't mean you know that kind of dodgy but they don't look very nice. I got it because I love anything with studs and leather basically. There's that. Here's one of my shelves. So this is a card I got when I left Vogue from all the people I worked with. So many nice notes and stuff. Unfortunately I haven't been very good at keeping in touch with people like this, which is silly of me because I might be doing a lot better now if I did. But that's what happens when you're a bit shy like me. You feel like nobody wants to see you again. Anyway, so that was a lovely experience. If you've been to Fashion Week you've probably seen this guy around before. He's always wearing something similar to this. You can't really miss him and I interviewed him a few years ago. I used to do a um, bit of press for Dead Heroes clothing so I've still got all these leftover stickies. Meeting uh, Dita Von Teese. She was of course matte, um, pale, beautiful, flawless and we were sweaty bit greasy because we came from work so we didn't feel very attractive that night but we got to witness her doing her thing in the martini glass which was amazing. What else have we got here that's of interest? House of Holland Autumn Winter 2013 invite. People are really trying hard to do invites a bit different now so you get them in tape form, you get records, you get presents, they're not just like pieces of paper anymore. What else have we got here? A jewellery box full of just random bangles and bits and bobs. Keep all my watches in here. Quite a mixture, there's like quite boyish digital type ones. Got a nice toy watch there. ASOS transparent number. Classic Casio. I think we've got some antique ones in there somewhere as well glasses collection. To be honest, none of these really suit me and I need a new pair that I will actually wear. But these are what the ones you accumulate over the years, ones you find on the floor of festivals or that you get to tie you over when you lose or sit on your current pair of sunglasses on holiday or whatever. Down here we have some more hats, so bowler hat which I got from charity shop. Then straw hats. I seem to buy a straw hat every time I go abroad. And then some snapbacks and things by Starter, uh, WESC, and Cheer Up Clothing, of course. Here's just some of like the clutches and things, but I can't remember the last time I used a clutch because I don't go out anymore. I've become old and dull and prefer to stay in with a takeaway and TV. But if I want to go out, I've got some options there. 
some scarves. Beanie collection, which it goes way back. You can't even really penetrate it. We've got lots of merch stuff. Manchester United beanie even. Primark ones. Carhartt ones. All sorts. My genuine NERD hat when Pharrell still did the stuff with the Neptunes, which was really cool, which incidentally I hope he'll start doing again soon. What have we got over here? A Ghost Stella glove, much like the Gladiator glove that she used in one of her shows many years ago. I can't remember which one. Uh, oh, Bruce Springsteen record. I don't care what you say, he is still very much the boss. Buttons. I think you're starting to tell that I'm a bit of a holder, aren't you? Right, Paul Jackson Prince. He's an amazing artist. If you don't know who he is, go and check him out. He does a lot of album artwork as well, so you may find that some of your album covers that you love are by him as well. Down here, still got some old model cards from when I used to do styling and styling assistant. Assistant? Assisting, rather. This guy was very handsome. Yes, yeah, so I really don't know what to say about this little selection of things here. I just can't throw them out. There's something magical about trolls still. I'm not saying I play with them, but I don't want to throw them out. An old McDonald's toys, and Disney toys and things like that. There's no Oh, where's this one? This was when I was style assisting at Easy Living. I'm never going to be able to buy anything from these places, so I thought I'll grab the bags instead. Desperate times. Some of the many photo booth moments over the years from parties and things. Some artwork from when I used to work at Dead Heroes. Some cool fashion books, Lady Gaga by Terry Richardson. Not sure how I feel about Terry Richardson at the moment, but like the book. Testino will always be one of my favourites. That's a great book. I got sent these. Um, I have tried them out, but I won't say they've got a lot of use. So if anyone is in the need of bumping up the body, get in touch, you can have these. So in my attempt to get organised, I've shown you this before on one of my other vlogs, but if you didn't see it, I've got this from Hobbycraft and I've put all my nail varnishes in little pots according to colour, so like dark pinks there, baby pinks, nudes, glittery ones, oh, it feels really good, but how long it will stay like this, I don't know. I've done the same with my jewellery as well, all my brooches and earrings and charms and things like that.